Morning guys, how are we doing today? Um, just gonna give it a minute until a few more people get in here. I think we have 10 people in the uh, chat so far. Good morning, morning from Colorado. All right, looks like we have about 45 people in here. So uh, let's get started, um, 50 people. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is, I'm just so you guys know, I'm actually, I have an appointment this morning I got here a little bit early, so I have some time to kill, and I just wanted to jump online real quick and uh, see if I can answer some questions for uh, anyone out there who uh, has a question to ask. So, uh, Myers, nothing yet on the airport. We're going to get to that one shortly. Uh, yeah, GM, we went from New York to Colorado. This is our new permanent home. Um, and uh, tell you guys the truth, we should have made this move 25 years ago. I love it here. It's better than I expected. Absolutely love it. Good morning, Alexander. Yeah, it actually is getting a little cooler here. This morning it was 56 degrees. Uh, it feels good. It was, uh, it's been in the high 90s since we got here um, around July 4th. public thank you I appreciate the compliment um, so the purpose of this is I'm hoping to be able to answer any questions anybody might have so uh, uh, let's see how did I become so fluent in Spanish um, I actually growing up we had a uh, neighbor who spoke Spanish and did not speak English and she was a uh, wonderful woman from Ecuador that um, actually I spent a lot of time with and she Taught me how to speak Spanish from the time I was very young. Good morning, Kevin. Thank you, Mom Zombie. Uh, no, Anna, Andy Bella, um, no retaliation other than what you saw. Uh, at the yard sale, that kind of thing, but there was no direct retaliation. Um, no. Houston. Well, now that I'm close to Texas, you never know. Maybe we will go to Houston one day. We have some plans to uh, hit some other states, and um, Houston might be on the list. Thank you, TCM. His comments are going very quickly. Now, this is my first live stream. Anybody that follows my channel will know. So I pretty much have no idea how to uh, slow the chat down or any of that stuff. So I'm going to try to do the best I can and uh, with my old eyes here and keep up. Hello from Sweden. Hello, Sweden. I actually have a Grand Fors Brooks uh, Swedish axe, which is my favorite axe. I collect axes and restore old tools on the side. It's another hobby of mine. My son is actually in school. He's taking all AP classes, doing very well. And uh, he's also now has a job and um, really doesn't have as much time on his hands as he used to. Thank you, the truth. Yeah, I don't know. I can only imagine what Josh is doing this morning. Um, John Smith, no, I am not going to change the channel name. Thank you, No Nonsense. Good morning, Denise. Lady Zaga, good morning. Uh, this is the best of my knowledge, John B. Uh, Josh has court on October 3rd. I don't think that's changed as far as I know. Um, I know he said he has an upcoming date. Um, I haven't heard any different. Good morning, Alejandro. Denise, good morning. And you know what? Yes, I actually do miss having Alec Baldwin as a neighbor. He was a fun guy to interact with. Um, GM, no, I'm not retired. I'm actually at work right now. Just uh, have an appointment at about I don't have my watch on and there's no time on my phone, but about 20 minutes. Hello from Finland. Hello, Finland. 
Thank you so much for that, Alexander. We appreciate it. Um, and that brings actually brings up a good point. Um, I just want everyone to keep in their mind that if you have watched my videos and you watch my channel, uh, we do not ask for money. I've never asked anybody for money. Um, not what my channel's about. Now, of course, we do have a GoFundMe set up and I do have a Patreon set up for anyone who of their own uh, fruition would like to choose to donate, choose to support what we do. That's up to you, but I don't ask. Uh, you know, there are expenses. It costs money to drive around for hours and gas and um, spending time and camera equipment. We spent a lot of money on camera equipment and, uh, you know, so I'm not going to get into that too much, but I just want you guys to know I appreciate you and thank you very much for that. Thank you, Dave. And thank you, S. Myers. The uh, chat's moving very quickly here. So um, I really just want to address this whole thing that's going on with Josh. Um, initially, to go back, when he got arrested, I put up a couple of videos in support of Josh, uh, which I would do for any auditor. I don't know Josh. Um, and I will address all the super chats. Um, and thank you guys, and I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Sec. That's uh, very, very nice of you, and we really appreciate it. And uh, just so you guys know, any funds that uh, are donated here um, on our channel go into a separate account and will be used exclusively for the purposes of auditing and furthering the cause. I do not commingle funds with my personal funds. I'm not paying bills with that money. We really don't get that many donations. I don't ask for them. And uh, yeah, so enough about that. But, um, so I wanted to support Josh. I put up a couple of videos and, um, I just don't, I think it's obvious what's going on now. And I think the people that don't see what's going on are uh, seeing things the way they want to see them. Um, and it's my issue with the whole thing. I have no vendetta against Josh. I'm not looking to kill the guy. I'm not looking to damage his channel. That's not what the problem is, but I think he's doing a disservice to the auditing community. I think he's doing a disservice to anyone who is legitimately in jail or going through the legal process, who has done nothing wrong and legitimately is innocent and needs help. And uh, it's a question mark on everyone. And that's not fair. And that's not, you know, the, you're jeopardizing every, everyone else. And then these criminal, you know, if he had been arrested for driving suspended license or drinking in public or something like that, but he's got some very serious felony charges, um, violent felony charges pending and uh, nobody ever knew about any of that and I'm sure he was hoping we didn't find out about it and it's certainly nothing to hold against the guy um, but it does speak to credibility that um, you know there, there, there's there's basically no transparency and when you're gonna name your channel accountability for all it should start with your channel and uh, I just don't see that as the way it's going I don't see any evidence now the one thing I will say is Josh, Danielle, whoever it is on their end, could clear this entire matter up in literally under a minute. Literally. All we need are screenshots from his PayPal account showing all deposits and withdrawals, if there are any, um, from September 4th, from the day that Danielle started asking for money. That's it. Simple as that. And that would clear the air. And I'm going to put a challenge out to Josh's side, okay? Show us the PayPal. Legitimate PayPal activity page. I want to see all the withdrawals, all the deposits from September 4th. No editing. You can, of course, redact personal information. That's fine. We need to see it's Josh's account. We need to see all that activity. And if that proves that there was no wrongdoing on Josh's end of things and all the money that was donated is still there and there have been zero withdrawals, not one penny withdrawn, I will go to the nearest church I will kneel down in front of the church and I will ask for forgiveness and apologize to Josh live on a live stream. Challenge. Will you accept it, Josh, Danielle? And I hope I'm wrong and I hope I have to do that for you. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping anybody's got any questions here if I can keep up looking at the chat. Um, you know, there's been a lot of people out there saying that Sorry, guys. There's been a lot of people out there saying that, uh, you know, this I'm damaging Josh's channel and I'm, I'm hurting the guy. 
you know, we're all accountable for what we do, accountability for all. And I'm accountable for what goes on on my channel. And I'm accountable for what I do in my life. And I'm accountable for the way I interact with my subscribers and the people that support us. And there's a lot of you. And I thank you very much. And I would never betray that trust. Um, if something comes up and I feel like I have something I need to tell you or something you should know, you're going to find out about it right from me. Um, and that's how that works. Yes, Marie, he should, every, all of us should be accountable to pay for our children, of course. Um, if you go to, now here's another one, okay? I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding Granite State transparency. I don't know Granite State. I don't watch her videos. I'm not familiar with her at all. I've heard the name. Um, but she did FOIA request and come up with some very interesting documentation um, that speaks to what's going on with Josh. And uh, you can go to her channel, take a look at that stuff and see exactly what's going on. Um, you know, the documents don't lie. The facts don't lie. And it is what it is. And I don't think the issue here is Josh's criminal past or whatever he's done. You know, that's, that's, that's a whole separate issue. The issue here is credibility and accountability. And that's all it is. I'm going to just for a second try to keep an eye on the chat here in case there's any questions so I can answer them for you. No, Alan, I'm sure New York does not miss me. Well, at least the police in New York. We had, uh, let's see, credibility and integrity. Um, you know, that's what it's about. And there's no reason to make anything up. There's no reason to lie about anything. There's no reason to cover anything up. It is what it is. Have I heard from Hot Tow Truck Girl? No, I have not. Um, and that's a good point. I appreciate you bringing that up, the truth. Um, before I put out the first video about this situation um, that was speaking, I guess, quote unquote, against them, I contacted Danielle via email um, and left comments for her, asking her to get in touch with me. Um, before I put the video up and I gave her several hours to do that and I never heard back from her so Hello, Ontario People do make choices in life and it's okay if you make a wrong choice just stand up and say I made a mistake It's not a big deal It's okay to make mistakes. I've made plenty of mistakes in my life um, We're talking about people's trust here though and people's support and uh when i said in the video that i put out that i didn't understand how she thought she was going to get away with it and that i was in complete shock that somebody would do what she did i'm not an idiot i know there's plenty of uh plenty of scammers out there and there's plenty of illegal stuff that goes on and there's plenty of uh things going on in this world that shouldn't happen but i just don't i what i meant was i didn't understand how somebody could take the time to build their channel up you know he's got twelve thousand subscribers and then to destroy the entire thing over $800. Why not ask for 8,000? Why not ask for 80,000? But what he should have done was, and I read this in a comment, and it gave, I agree 100%. All they had to do was ask for donations and say they needed help. Why did they specify $800 bail? They should have just said, listen, Josh is in a bad way. I'm in a bad way. Uh, you know, Evidently, it turns out that Danielle got evicted the morning of, the, uh, of that video which I'm not holding against her either. You know, there's situations that we're not aware of. Who knows what the truth is? Um, but they could have just come out and said they needed help and they needed donations and people would have donated. Thank you, Wrights Crispy. Um, but yeah, so... This, this, the, the, the thing that speaks volumes here is this entire situation, as I said before, could be cleared up in under a minute. Just show us the PayPal. Yeah, I don't think any, they, they thought anybody would look into it. I don't know, but I don't, you know, you're also talking about a guy who allegedly, okay, committed four violent felonies within a period of four days. Um, so... He almost went back to the scene of the crime on one of them. So, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, a, a, a poor planning. Um, 
desperation. I don't even know what it is. I don't understand. I, 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 you know, and I wish th these things didn't happen in this auditing community because there's a lot of people out there. There's a lot of auditors out there who are doing great work. I mean, there's case law that has been made, you know, few and far between because it's not easy. You know, you can't fight City Hall was the old saying when I was a kid. But, you know, we're finding out you can fight City Hall and you can get things done. And uh, people are actually out there making progress and getting things done. And that's the track we want to stay on. And this just this whole situation is not helping it. It's just not helping it. And New Jersey Wandering News. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, there's been different amounts thrown out. Um, Josh, in his last statement, said that he received $300 above the $800, which would be $1,100, and his lawyer took the other $300. So that's $1,100. We also saw a figure of $926. I think it's a lot more than that. Um, I requested people to, I haven't gotten a complete list yet. I'm sure I won't get a complete list, but I requested uh, that people email me copies of their donations, um, and I've gotten several and i can tell you that uh it's a significant amount of money um and i also have and you know i also want to mention that if anybody thinks i'm trying to destroy this kid i'm not um i have documentation and information that could really put a hurt on him and i'm not releasing that and i'm not that's not what i'm doing um i just hope that maybe all of this has inspired josh in some way to come clean and just, uh, you know, admit what he's done. I, I, I'm not expecting that to happen, but he's got the platform. It's here. And if Josh, when he gets out of jail, wants to get on a live stream together, I'd be happy to do that with him and discuss it with him. Uh, auditing Chicago. The reason Josh is in jail is because he broke the terms of his bail on the felony charges that are still pending. He is not in jail. He is not sitting in jail because he violated any sort, uh, any kind of a uh, disorderly. He's, right now he's being charged with disorderly resisting arrest and insulting somebody, which is an interesting charge. But I think that has to do with the uh, disorderly conduct or some kind of a, they tie in together somehow. But he's not sitting in jail for any of that. What he's sitting in jail for is violating the terms of his conditional release on prior bail. Um, I'm trying to read these comments here, guys. They move quick. Uh, let's see. How do I get a screenshot to send you? I don't know what kind of phone you're using, Music 55. Um, he does have a long rap sheet, which makes it all much, you know, makes it, to me, it's, it, I don't know. The whole thing's, uh, I'm actually looking forward to Josh getting out of jail and explaining himself. Um, I'm hoping he has a, uh, a lucid moment and sees the light and comes out and just tells the truth. Oh, we are, Paula. That's uh, part of the reason why I'm doing this live stream now. I kind of want to put this thing to bed on my end. Um, And I, you know, I'm very optimistic and I, 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 I uh, tend to see the glass half full. And I really, really sincerely, guys, I want you to know that I'm hoping Josh gets out of jail and uh, has some sort of an epiphany and just uh, does what he has to do. You know, odds are not in that favor, but it's been done before. Oh, the truth will come out. Sooner or later, the truth will come out. That's exactly right, Kitty. He needs to just come out and face the music. Oh, he'll get out eventually. And when he does get out, what's going to happen is, is all of his uh, supporters are going to say, see, I told you so. He got out. He was telling the truth, uh, disregarding all the facts and the details of the entire situation. Uh, James, I have no idea if uh, Hot Tow Truck Girls is his girlfriend or not. There's been, uh, you know, six different stories about that as well. Who knows? 
I have my own opinions, but I'm going to reserve them for another time. Garage sale in Chicago and uh, Colorado. I just saw something about the Judge Mathis show go by. I think everybody knows that story. Um, you know, from what I understand, Josh said that he was going to Chicago to support Joe Luna uh, with Danielle, and and they asked for donations to pay for to fund the trip. Um, and then it turns out the Judge Mathis show actually paid for their airplane tickets, their hotel, and they even got what they call Mathis bucks to have some spending money there. My son's in school right now. Melissa, if I'm reading between the lines, I agree with you. Ben's doing well, Yoda. Thank you for asking. He's, uh, he's actually taking uh, all honors AP classes and uh, has tons of homework and actually got himself a job. He's working four or five days a week, so he's doing really well. Making a lot of new friends here in Colorado, playing basketball. Scott, I never called the jail. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you meant, you're asking how much it cost me to call the jail. I called the jail and spoke to uh, officials at the jail. I never called the jail to speak to Josh. So, uh, I don't know. Unlimited plan on my phone didn't cost me a dime. Audit everywhere. What's going on? Just chill, send me an email. Um, and if anybody wants to get in touch with me, you can always reach me at amagansetpress at gmail.com. I'd be happy to help anybody out that I can. Uh, somewhere not too far in the near future, we are planning a trip uh, out of state. I'm not going to say where right now, but we are... Uh, going to be doing some traveling and some auditing. Philip L., exactly. That's my concern is setting the movement back. Um, people's rights, you know, and let, let, let me just give you a little bit of background on myself. I know I mentioned it in one of the videos. Um, I've done a lot of photography. My work, my photographs have been published in uh, major magazines, newspapers. Um, for many years, I've been doing that kind of thing. And, um, you know, you deal with that kind of stuff all the time. Like, I'll give you one example, though. There are times when people do understand that we have rights. Hillary Clinton was uh, doing a book signing at Book Hampton in East Hampton, probably about, I want to say maybe five, six, seven years ago. Um, and we were outside of Bookhampton um, taking video and photographing and trying to get some shots of Hillary, which I did. Um, and uh, those pictures sold. But Secret Service obviously was all over the place. And there were some people um, who were there to try to meet and greet with Hillary who got very upset about us trying to take her picture and trying to take video and started complaining to the Secret Service that was standing around. And um, one of the Secret Service guys finally heard enough of it and walked up and actually said to this group of three or four people, he's out in public and he has every right to be standing here taking pictures and taking video. And this is coming from a Secret Service agent who was protecting Hillary Clinton. So um, we're on the right side of the law, guys, and we're on the right side of morals and we're on the right side of what we're doing out here. And, you know, one bad apple can spoil the whole bunch and it takes a lot of work on the part of the people who are doing the right thing to clean up other people's messes. And it's, that's, that's the part that's not fair. And even worse than that, like I said, you have people sitting in jail. You have people who's, who don't have their children with them, whose kids have been taken away from them. You have people who have court cases pending that never did anything wrong. And now when these people try to ask for some help, they, everybody's gonna have a big question mark in their head because of people like 
Josh and Danielle and what's going on with this whole thing. And it's not fair and it's not right. And, 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 and I'm not willing to sit here and, uh, you know, do nothing about it. Um, I don't have a huge channel. I think we're a little over 61,000 subscribers, which is great. And uh, the channel grew very quickly and it gives me a very small voice to be able to help out in a very small way. And that's all we're trying to do. Um, and I don't, I don't, I, I, you know, I don't think it's fair to the people that really need the help. And that's why I don't ask you guys for anything. Um, it's not that I don't need the help. I'm not a wealthy person. I'm not rich. Um, I work very hard for everything that I have and I've worked very hard my entire life. Um, you know, and we do okay, but there are people that, um, need your help a lot more than I do. Okay. So I'm not going to sit here and make myself look like I'm in need of assistance when I'm, you know, I'm not, of course, you know, it'd be great. Hey, somebody wants to send us a few bucks to help out with gas. Somebody wants to send us a few bucks to help out with what we're doing and the time we put into things. That's great. And I appreciate that very much. And as I told you, any money sent to this channel will go into a separate account used exclusively to further the cause that we're fighting for here on YouTube. I'm not going to use that money to pay my electric bill. Um, so that's what the issue is. It's not about Josh. It's not about Danielle. It's not about me. It's about people's rights and people, mostly people who have had their rights violated and can't do anything about it and are having a hard time doing something about it. There's a lot of suffering going on in this world, guys. And there's a lot of people that are in a lot, in a bad way. And, uh, each of us could take a few minutes to do something every day to help somebody out. I mean, that's great. That's really great. Um, I'm not going to, I was going to mention something I did yesterday, but I'm not going to sit here and toot my own horn. But you know, I, I, what I'm asking you guys to do, I'm not asking you to send me anything. What I'm asking you guys to do is take five minutes today and do something nice for somebody else that deserves it, that you feel deserves it. That's all. Just look for somebody, you know, if you, if you, if, if you're given the opportunity to assist someone, to help someone, to put a smile on somebody's face, to maybe give them a little bit of hope. That's all it's about guys. That's all it's about. And that could be a dollar. You know, it could be a dollar. It could be a kind word. It could be a smile. It could be you helping somebody lift something into their car, anything, anything, just do whatever you can. Do whatever you can for people. Um, Brian, yeah, I was in Maine a very long time ago when I was a kid, but not since then. All right, a lot of people want to know why I moved to Colorado. Let me address that real quickly. Uh, 25 years ago, my father passed away, and it gave me a chance to sit back and really figure out what I was going to do with the rest of my life. Uh, it was 1994. So, at the time, I was, uh, I was a volunteer fireman in New York. And what I decided I was going to do was I was going to move to Colorado again, 25 years ago. And I wanted to become a wildland firefighter in Colorado. Um, so I actually got all the paperwork, set myself up for Academy. I had everything planned, everything scheduled. The trip was planned. Um, wound up uh, getting back in touch with my wife, who I had not seen for a couple of years. Um, and she wound up moving in with me and we uh, started our life together. And that changed my plans about moving to Colorado. Um, obviously, 10 years after that, my son was born and, you know, life just kept happening. So I just put off my dream of moving to Colorado. And, uh, you know, 25 years later, almost to the day we made the move. Um, and what inspired us to make that move was, see, my plan was to stay in East Hampton until my son graduated from high school. Um, East Hampton is not where I wanted to be per se, um, but it's a very safe place to live. There's a lot of opportunity. There's a lot of educated people in East Hampton um, for my son I'm talking about, and it's got a good school system, and I knew it very well. Um, so we decided to stay in East Hampton until my son graduated from high school to give him that childhood upbringing experience. Um, after talking to him, about things when he was 15 years old he got a little older and he started expressing his interest in moving to Colorado and he wanted to do it too uh, so the time it basically at the end of the day the time just was right and it was literally three days within three days of 25 years that we actually made the move and um, I'm actually almost sorry I am sorry I, I it would have been nice if I would have done it back then but you know what things work out the way they're supposed to work out um, I'm very happy with 
my life with my wife. I actually started dating my wife when I was 14 years old um, in high school. So you've heard me mention we've been together for 35 years. That's where I get that number from. Uh, we dated from the time I was 14, didn't see each other for a couple of years um, in my early 20s, and then we wound up getting back together. So, um, and uh, you know, again, we're, we're very happy with our lives. I'm very happy with my son. I have a wonderful son. Uh, he's a good kid. He does a lot of good things for other people. And uh, that's the way I raised him. And that's the mentality that he has. Um, he makes me nothing but proud of him. And uh, I love my wife and son more than I love life. So, but to answer your question, why we moved to Colorado, I hope that answers it for you. I don't look my age. Thank you, the truth. I don't know how old I look. All this white hair here is, uh, gives me away. I don't get asked for ID anymore, that's for sure. Thank you, Alexander. Yeah, Yeshua's return. That's exactly what the point is. Um, I am the type of person that's looking to live a very simple life. Actually, my goal is to, uh, we rented a place here in Colorado. And my goal is to save some money up and uh, buy a piece of land and build a small house on it. Um, so that way I can give some security to my wife and my son going forward. And uh, that's what I'm trying to accomplish. I have no plans of visiting Long Island anytime soon, John. It was a long drive. I drove the, uh, I drove the entire trip myself, 2,000 miles in four days. Um, and Long Island's a beautiful place, guys. It really is. It's a nice, you know, the Hamptons are great, but it's a different mentality. It's a different, um, you know, there's a lot of wealth out there. And uh, honestly, we were one of the poorer people in town. Um, I'm not a wealthy guy. I work hard for everything that I have. I drive a 10-year-old Suburban. You know, I love my truck. Um, but it is what it is. And, you know, Long Island is a beautiful place and the beaches are beautiful. And it's, but it's a very, uh, there's also a very plastic element to it. Um, it's a very C and B seen type of community and that's just not who I am. Um, I'm much more comfortable here in Colorado. It's beautiful. People out here are wonderful so far and we've had nothing but good experiences. New Jersey wandering news. I was actually born in New Jersey. Um, my, uh, mother and father were actually visiting my aunt, my mother's sister, my aunt Irene, um, in New Jersey. And I was born on that trip. So I'm lucky enough to have been born in the state of New Jersey. Uh, auditing Chicago. I have no idea if Enrique was involved. I have absolutely no idea. I don't see why he would need to be. Um, he's got a channel that's doing great. He's making plenty of money and he's the first one to admit that. And uh, I don't see why he would be involved in any of that, but I can't say, I have no idea. Chad Oliver, I absolutely believe in innocent until proven guilty. Absolutely. Uh, but if you go to Granite State Transparency, um, the videos she put up yesterday, and again, I'm not supporting her and I'm not opposing her. She just came up with some good documentation that I think anybody interested should take a look at. And um, in some of the police documentation, some of the reports, Josh actually admitted to a few things um, and actually called his girlfriend at the time his getaway driver. So it's not pure speculation of whether he did this stuff or not. I actually am a mafia hitman. Yes, that's correct. No, of course I'm not a mafia hitman. <clears throat> when was the last time you saw a bald redheaded guy in the, in the, in the mafia? I have not Alan. I have not watched uh, oath accountability channel.
I'm trying to read these comments, guys, but they move fast. Don Biz. Um, no, nothing anybody's done that's not right should take away from any of the good that they've done. It's two separate things. Uh, what he's taking away from is his credibility and his integrity. The Jedi of Truth, I have no idea how to put the comments on slow mode. Uh, let me see if I can figure that out. No, not that. Again, this is the first live stream I've ever done, guys. So. I don't know if somebody can tell me how to put the uh, comments on slow mode. That'd be great. So we have 340 people in here, it looks like, and I just want to appreciate uh, everyone that took the time to stop by. What auditors do I enjoy watching? You know, that, that's a very good question. I pre appreciate you asking that, your neighborhood. Um, Jeff Gray, honor your oath. Um, you guys should take a look at Jeff Gray. Jeff Gray has been in the game for a very, very long time and uh, does a lot of good work and i think he deserves to have uh, a lot more subscribers than he does and a lot more uh, a lot more views than he does and a lot more attention to his channel so if you guys have the time please go take a look at jeff gray name of the channel is honor your oath thumbs up michelle ddt go buy a camera Um, and then, you know, there's a lot of good auditors out there. There's a lot of, you know, and it's, it's hard to comment on some of these things because there's some people, and I'm not, I'm not going to mention names, but there's some people out there in the auditing community who I've gotten to know um, and I've spoken to frequently who are good people. Um, but what you guys also have to understand is YouTube is a tricky little game. Um, you have to promote your channel. There's no way around it. If you don't promote your channel, you don't have a channel. And um, sometimes you got to, certain people feel like they need to add a little bit of entertainment value to their audits to get more people to watch and, and to create a buzz around their videos and to get following. And, uh, you know, sometimes you have to do that kind of stuff. YouTube's not easy. It's not easy to just... Uh, you know, my channel happened by pure coincidence. I don't know if anybody ever saw the first video I put up. Um, I was actually at a Kmart in Bridgehampton, New York, uh, doing some last minute Christmas shopping with my family. We were buying some stocking stuffers and uh, it turned into an audit completely unplanned. And that's how this channel started. Um, and at that moment, I realized that there was a way I could fight back against the uh, violation of rights that I had experienced in my own life out doing photography and video work over the years. Um, but it's not easy to build a channel and you do sometimes have to get creative. And you know what? At the same time, a little bit of entertainment is not a bad thing. That's not my thing. I'm not a comedian. I'm not, um, you know, I just go out and do straight audits and it, it, it works out the way it works out. And I let the cards fall how they may. And that's what it is. Um, but if people can add some entertainment value to it, there's a, there's a, a section of audience for everyone. And some of the people that watch my stuff wouldn't be interested in somebody else's stuff. So as long as people are watching and as long as people are getting educated about their rights and their freedoms and um, are better able to stand up for themselves and the people around them, that's what counts, guys. Um, and, you know, I appreciate everybody out there trying to do the right thing. Yeah, Tim M., that was a good video. Thank you. What do you think about News Now, Patrick? Um, <laughs> you know what? What do I think about News Now, Patrick? I don't watch his videos. I think he gets involved in a little too much drama. Um, 
which I've done to myself this past week. But I just, you know, it, it, certain things you just have to. News now, Patrick is news now, Patrick, and I don't think I really need to say anything about that. I think everybody has their opinions. I think everybody, uh, you know, there's people that like him and there's people that don't. That goes back to what I was saying before. There is an audience for everyone. Again, here I go bringing up my grandmother, but my grandmother had a great expression. There's a lid for every pot. Uh, so there are people that appreciate what Patrick does. There are people that appreciate what I do. There are people that appreciate what uh, many people do. And that's, you should watch who you, who you like to watch. As long as you're learning something or as long as you're offering something or as long as um, the movement's going forward and as long as people's rights are being defended and people are being educated. I mean, you know, I'm being educated. I'm the first one to say, you know, there's always, you learn something. I like to say you learn something old every day because it's only new to you. So, you know, I learn something old every day, guys. Don, Buzz, thank you very much, but there are uh, plenty of people in this game that have been doing it for a lot longer than I have uh, before it was a popular thing to do. So, um, again, go watch Jeff Gray. Go take a look at uh, Honor Your Oath. There's no drama. There's no excitement. There's no uh, flashing lights and laser beams and uh, all that kind of stuff, but Jeff Gray is a solid auditor, and he does solid audits. You got to T, you know what? That's a very good point. You got to study the law. You got to know what you're talking about. You can't go off half cock. You got to go out and, and uh, the point is to educate. And if you're saying things that aren't true, or you're, you're not sure of what you're talking about, you needed to educate yourself before you put yourself in that position. And I try my best to do that. Uh, consumer protection. I was silent for a month. It was actually almost six weeks because we made the move out to Colorado. Um, and I also chose to take some time off and spend it with my son while he was off from school for the summer and uh, my wife and some family. And uh, that's what we decided to do. Family comes first, guys, at the end of the day. That's the way it is. Um, you know, I'm trying to read these comments here. Chad Oliver, no, I'm not dividing the movement. Um, Josh divided the movement with his actions. Uh, you know, if somebody's breaking into my car and I shine a flashlight on them, you can't say I'm helping the guy break into the car. That's not what's going on here. Um, Josh and Danielle, I gotta plug my battery in, guys. Josh and Danielle made some decisions to do what they were gonna do. And, uh, you know, I'm not the only guy shining a light on this thing it's not it's not just me i um i actually got clued into what was going on by other people in the game but no i don't feel like i'm dividing at all and i've read a lot of comments people have been saying not a lot but there have been numerous people um saying that josh is a fellow auditor and you don't turn against fellow auditors you know to me that logic is like a good cop not turning in a bad cop just because he's a cop you know just because you're an auditor doesn't mean the entire auditing community needs to support you um, I support people that are doing the right thing and I support people that are furthering the cause and doing what we're trying to do here I don't, I'm not gonna support somebody who is undermining all the hard work that we're doing you know you guys also have to realize when you go out and audit and you're willing to confront the police and you're willing to stand up for what's right and challenge authority, uh, you're putting yourself in a position where you could be arrested, you could be tased, you could be thrown to the ground, you could be beaten, you could have your equipment taken from you, damaged, stolen. You know, we're putting ourselves at risk out here. And for somebody to go out there 
and make a mockery of that and use this as a, a venue to grift people for money, that's, that's unacceptable. I'm sorry. And I think somebody whose channel name is accountability for all should take accountability for their actions. And um, I place full accountability on Josh and Danielle for what's going on here. I don't blame myself for any part of it. Um, I am not, you know, I can give you my opinion. I can lay out the facts for you as I know them, as they're presented. Um, but I'm not certainly not trying to throw the guy under the bus. He threw himself under the bus. I'm sorry. And if he wants to get himself from out from under the bus, he's the only person that can do that. And it's a very simple thing. Show us the money. Show us the books. And like I said, if I'm wrong, I will be the first person to admit I'm wrong. Live streaming on YouTube for the world to see. Because when I make a mistake, folks, I have zero problem admitting it. And that's the way I raise my son. And that's the way I live my life. You make a mistake. The best thing to do is just come clean and say, I screwed up. It's not a big deal. People make mistakes. But when you start compounding it with lies and more deception and more confusion, you can't even remember what you said after a while. You don't even, you, you contradict yourself in statements. It's, it, 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 I don't know. I don't know. So if anybody out there wants to blame me for this whole situation with Josh, knock yourselves out. But it's not the way I see it. Let me go back in the, uh, John Orcutt, thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Uh, some auditors do make plenty of money um, on their channels. Yes, that is true. And why shouldn't they? Why shouldn't they? YouTube is set up, you know, uh, what people don't, people fail to realize is major media news makes money. You know, you're watching, uh, Fox News, you're watching CNN, you're watching whatever side you're on, whatever channel you watch, there's commercials, there's advertisements. You know, life costs money, gas costs money, vehicles cost money, camera equipment costs money. And these things don't just fall into people's laps for free. And some people are out there doing excellent work, you know, and I've, I've sent a few bucks to a few people and I'm not gonna talk about that, but it's important to support the people that you believe in. Let's just put it that way. Um, and make it possible for them to do what they're doing because the legitimate guys out there and the people that are doing the good work are doing it for you and they're doing it for themselves and they're doing it for all of us and myself included. And, you know, why not support that? Why not support that? You go to a football game um, and buy tickets and support that. Thank you, Kitty. Um, you go to the movies and support Hollywood I mean, why wouldn't you support a guy who's out on the street fighting the good fight, putting himself in danger for your, for your freedoms and your rights? Now, and I'm talking about the guys who are out there legitimately doing a good job. You know, it's important to support these people. It really is. And I, I think they should be supported. But equally so, if somebody has shown themselves to be scamming, I don't even know what other word to use, um, why support that? Yeah, Scott, you know, Josh might be under that impression. He may be. And that's, you know, I can't speculate what's going on behind the scenes because we don't know. Um, if you want my opinion, it seems to me that him and Danielle know exactly what each other are doing. And they're a team. Um, in one of the videos, you know, I know it's just a little saying that people use, but in one of the videos, Danielle actually said that he's her partner in crime. So, I, I mean... No, I, you know, I don't, I don't think they're keeping secrets from each other at that level. But that's just my opinion. I can't prove that. I have no idea. And if somebody could tell me how to put these comments on slow, I'd appreciate it. And um, I'm only going to have a few minutes left here, guys. So if you have any questions, now's the time to ask. 
Josh does have a lawyer. Uh, his name is out there. I think his name is Douglas Scarano. And he is a private lawyer. It's not a, as far as I'm aware, it's not a, uh, not a public defender. Parent Dome, my email is mgansitpress at gmail.com. Hey, CeeLo, I respect your opinion. Tim, that's a very good question. And hopefully when Josh gets out, he will uh, decide to clear that all up for us. And again, guys, you know what? At the end of the day, I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. I really hope that Josh or somebody on his side can prove me wrong, and I'll be the first to admit it. And I'm, as I said in the beginning of this stream, I challenge him to that. I challenge him to that. I will literally go to a closest church in my neighborhood, get down on one knee in front of the church, and I will ask for forgiveness, and I will apologize to Josh on a live stream. I'm not kidding about that. Um, but what it's going to take for me to do that is Josh. Hold on one second, guys. Uh, writes Crispy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, what it's going to take for me to do that is for Josh to make fully transparent a complete accounting of his PayPal account from September 4th until now. And I don't understand if he's, if he's in the right. Why would you not want to do that? If I was in Josh's position, I would have cleared this up immediately. Immediately. Thank you, Legalize. Scott, I agree with you. And Maverick, uh, I don't know that Josh is out of jail. I don't know where you got that from. If that's the case, Josh, if you're out of jail and you're watching this, um, Let's get on a live stream together, buddy, and let's uh, let's talk about things. I'd be happy to do that anytime, anywhere. You pick the time. You pick the day. Uh, Denise Lynn, thank you so much, Denise. That was very nice of you. I appreciate it. All you guys that, you know, the mom zombie, thank you. Um, and again, I just want to remind people, any donations given to my channel, will be put into a separate bank account and will be used exclusively for gas money when I'm out driving around. Um, we do have a bail fund set up, so some of it will go towards that bail fund and um, any expenses incurred for legitimate auditing. Um, that money's not gonna go to pay my water bill this month. Chad Oliver, I don't know what your situation is with uh, Josh, and I don't know why you're such a blind uh, follower of what's going on with him. If you have any inf rather than just putting me down and uh, making negative comments, which is fine. I mean, you can do that all day long if you think that's productive. But why don't you give me some facts? Why don't you show us how Josh is right? Why don't you, why don't you help your boy out and provide some factual information here that we can all bank on? And uh, like I said... If it turns out that Josh is right and I'm wrong, guys, I'm going to be the first one to get online on a live stream and admit that. No problem. And I really, honestly, sincerely hope I'm wrong. I want to see nothing but this movement move forward. I want to see... Uh, thank you, Michelle. I want to see um, good things going on with this movement. I want to see accomplishments. I want to see case law changed. Um, there's another guy, the Batusai. Um... You know, there's controversy with everybody. So anybody I bring up, there's going to be people that say they love them and there's going to be people that say no, that they're, they're, they don't. So, you know, but uh, Philip Turner actually made uh, case law change that helps all of us. There's people out there accomplishing things and there's people out there getting the good work done, guys. And that's who we need to be supporting, you know. I don't want to buy Danielle packs of Newports. I quit smoking seven years ago. And I think she should quit smoking too. I think everybody should quit smoking cigarettes, but that's another issue. I'm one of those terrible uh, ex-smokers. I'll tell you what though, I lost, uh, 
lost a lot of weight, got healthy, and feel a lot better since I quit smoking. Um, every, you know, there's a, everybody says when you move to Colorado because of the altitude, the shortness of breath, and all kinds of stuff that goes along with that. I feel great up here, guys. Cigarettes are no good. Put them away. <clears throat> News Now Dallas is excellent. Yes. Whoever just made that comment, watch News Now Dallas. He does some good work. And I absolutely do, absolutely, absolutely believe in innocent until proven guilty. Um, but you know what, guys? What the, Josh's supporters are not willing to admit is he's been proven guilty on a few things. And when you're proven guilty on certain things that speak to your integrity and your believability, um, I don't know what to say about that. DDT, I've never seen press on channel, but I will take a look at them. Let's see if I can get some questions here. Um, would you consider AP merchandise? I'd buy it. We're actually working on that. Um, we had some t-shirts that I was planning on uh, making available, but we had a little issue with the, uh, with the people that were printing the t-shirts up. So we're working on that. Maverick of East Boston. I'm not judging anybody on their past offenses. I'm judging on I'm judging things based on what's the way things are being handled today. Right now, not past offenses. Uh, Ryan Sturts, that's a good question. I get a lot of questions from people asking if I'm afraid of retaliation. Um, I'm not. I refuse to live my life coming from a place of fear. And I don't think that's a good place to be. And I don't think anybody should be living or making decisions in their life based on fear. Now, obviously, you don't want to just go out and act like you're Superman and do stupid things. Um, but if you're right and you've got the truth and the law and morally correct, uh, you know, the morals are on your side. If everything's on your side and you're right, stand up for what's right, guys. Don't operate from a place of fear. That's what's wrong with this country. That's what's all going down. Back in my day when I was a kid, nobody was afraid of anything. There was no fear. Everybody's afraid these days. People are afraid of a camera. People are afraid of the truth. People are afraid of anybody asking questions. And it's, 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 no, I do not operate from fear. So no, I'm not afraid. I did not leave New York because the cops were harassing me. Nope. I actually, you know what? My channel was doing better in New York. I, could have stayed in New York and kept doing what I was doing for a very long time. Um, so that should be a little proof to you guys. I, at the peak of my channel, things were booming. Um, when we left New York, my channel was getting about 100,000 views a day. Um, but that wasn't going to keep me there. I wasn't going to stay there just for the money because I was, because I have a channel. And, you know, that's another thing too, guys. I don't know if ever, anybody knows, but YouTube, uh, for the past several months, has demonetized every single video every video i'm not talking about most of them i'm not talking about half of them every video i post gets demonetized by youtube literally within 10 minutes of me putting the video up now i don't know if that's the trolls out there filing complaints i don't know if youtube has flagged my account for some reason i don't know what that situation is but you know what it doesn't matter it is what it is um we're not Money is not my priority here. You know, I have a theory in life that applies to everybody and every situation. If all you focus on is the money, you're never going to have any. You can't go out and do what you do because of money. Obviously, people go to work for money. But you know what? In my opinion, you should be going to a job that you enjoy. And you should be doing something with your life that you enjoy doing. And you should spend your time doing things that you like. You know? Um, there's an old Chinese proverb that I'm going to destroy. But if a man enjoys what he does... It's, you'll know, if a man enjoys what he does every day, he'll never work a day in his life. Um, so have the guts to follow your dreams. Have the guts to go after what you want, guys. Because at the end, you know, I'm, I'm going to be 50 years old this year. And I look back and there's a lot of opportunity that just got away from me. 
because I didn't do what I had to do at the time to make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Go after your dream. And you're right, Israel. 911 started it. That's absolutely correct. Um, and since then, people are afraid. People are very afraid, and there's nothing to be afraid of, guys. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. What All that's changed is people's perception, people's fears, and people's attitudes. Nothing has changed. And long after human beings and animals and plants and everything else are gone from this earth, the earth's still going to be a rock spinning out in space. It's going to be here long after we are. And you really need to put all this stuff in perspective and realize that the reason we're here is to take care of each other and help each other. You know, it's not to tear each other apart. And you could say I'm tearing Josh apart with what's going on here. He's tearing himself apart. What I'm doing is giving him, <clears throat> as others are doing, an opportunity to come clean and make a difference. And you know what? I'll see, if, he, if he comes out of jail and he comes clean and he straightens this whole mess out, I'll subscribe to his channel and I'll watch his videos and I'll support him. Still. Okay? But it's got to be real. Let me see if I can get some of these questions here. Um, yeah, I don't know if anybody's got any questions. I'm here. Please ask me a question. Stop me from rambling. I can talk forever. Yeah, it's exactly right, Denise. Do your homework. Um, it's good to donate to people, and it's good to support people who need support and who you appreciate. Um, you know, people go out and spend money on frivolous things all the time. Help people out that are out fighting for your rights. Help the good people out. Help the people out that you, that, that, that you enjoy watching, that you appreciate, and you feel like you're really making a difference in this world. Don't send money to people that are crying because they need money. That's usually, and if you're going to do that, look into it and figure out what's going on first. Jeffrey Platt, I am giving uh, Josh an opportunity to, def to defend himself. So is everybody else. Josh has all the opportunity in the world to defend himself. He's got people with access to his accounts out there that can get online. He's got, he's been on live streams from jail. He's got plenty of opportunity to clear his name. Why he's not doing it is the question here. Um, who just asked me that question? Alan Mander. No, my son and I have never been arrested while auditing. And I invite anybody to go look into my background as far back as the day I was born. I have never been arrested in my life for anything. I'm sure there's a little bit of luck involved with that too, because I'm not saying I'm an angel. I was 18 once, and I uh, back in the day, you know, we used to drink and party and do all kinds of things, and you know, things people get arrested for. But I was just lucky enough and never got caught, I guess. But in my adult life, I've been very responsible, and I do not get myself into legal problems. No, I don't. Uh, yes, Corey, we have audits coming up in the very near future. It's a big deal moving across the country, guys. Things take time. Thank you, Jeffrey. All right, guys, so I'm getting a nod from somebody over here in the office. Um, I got, it looks like... Uh, So I got about five minutes left. If anybody's got any questions, I'd be happy to answer them for you. I'll give you the straight dirt, whatever you got. Uh, fur loving guy, um, as far as mods are concerned, that's another thing and I'm glad you brought that up. The, the uh, comment sections on my videos um, on my channel are not censored. And I'm not worried about what anybody's saying here in the chat. Everybody's, I'm out preaching free speech and I'm out 
um, you know, freedom of speech and people's rights to say what they want is a real thing, including on my channel and on my live streams. Um, if there's going to be more live streams going forward, we'll see. Um, but everybody can say whatever they want to say, and I don't censor comments. And if you want to test that, go to one of my videos, leave a comment saying whatever you want to say, come back a day later, the comment's still going to be there. I do not censor anything on my channel. I do not delete any comments, and that's not the way we roll. Uh, answer Pee Wee's question. What was Pee Wee's question? Thank you, Perfectly Disruptive. Uh, Pee Wee, if you can ask your question again, I'd be happy to answer it. I didn't see it. And just so you know, guys, I wasn't even planning on doing this. I just got here, uh, got to an appointment, and I'm early. Joe Citizen, uh, what is my day job? For the past eight years uh, prior to leaving East Hampton, my main gig is I was the general manager of a hotel in East Hampton. Um, and I am actually doing some consulting work right now. Um, so I was in the hotel business for uh, eight years. I was not an owner of the business, um, had no interest in it. I was just the general manager and uh, that was my main gig so now i'm doing some consulting work um i have some other things i'm pursuing here in colorado and we're going to be getting back to doing some good solid audits very soon patrick and furry i don't think much needs to be said about any of that uh let's see Audit everywhere. Ben Krapinski was a true gentleman. Absolutely. Ben Krapinski was a great guy. Um, I have some great stories. Uh, actually did some work with him. I, um, before owning, I'm sorry, owning, before working at the hotel, I owned a uh, roofing business. I was a partner in a roofing business in East Hampton um, and uh, did some work with Ben Krapinski and he gave us some, uh, some jobs. He was a wonderful guy. For those of you who don't know, Ben Krapinski was a very wealthy individual, philanthropist, businessman who lived in East Hampton, who was uh, unfortunately killed in a private plane crash uh, not that long ago. Um, and he was he was one of the good guys. So thank you for bringing that up. Uh, let's see constitutional content. Why am I reporting on Josh scamming if I say I could be wrong? You know what? Anybody could be wrong about anything um, Even if you are absolutely sure of what you're talking about in your own mind There's still always a chance that you could be wrong So I'm not gonna stand here and say I'm absolutely right. And I know what I'm talking about. I believe I'm right Otherwise, I wouldn't be saying what I'm saying um, or doing what I'm doing but there is always a chance that there is something uh, that I don't know about that could prove me wrong and you know what the only time in life guys that you can ever learn anything is when you don't know or when you are wrong when you're right and when you know what you're talking about there's really not much for you to learn um, and I like to learn and I like to educate myself so whenever I'm wrong I always like to admit that and find out what the right answer is and remember it for the next time and there's nothing wrong with being wrong it's an opportunity to learn it's an opportunity to grow and share your experience with somebody else Do you feel, let's see what this is. Uh, do you feel about Josh and Danielle lying that they were not a couple to everyone so they can get more money? Um, what I'm gonna tell you is, is uh, here's how I look at people not telling the truth, okay? Um, a thief is better than a liar, okay? And you might wonder why I'm saying that. You can keep your eyes on a thief. If you know somebody's a thief, you can watch them. You can keep an eye on them. You can surveil them. 
Um, but when somebody's a liar, what do you do about that? And once you find out somebody's not being honest with you, how do you believe anything else they say? Or how do you not doubt anything else they say? Um, you know, once somebody shows you who they are, guys, believe them. If somebody flat out tells you and shows you the person that they are, believe that. That's all I'm saying. It doesn't matter about his past criminal history. It doesn't matter about any of that. Why is he not clearing up this situation right now today? That's the question. It is, he's in a situation, okay? If he feels like he's being wrongly accused, he could clear this up within minutes. He's got the evidence he needs if he's telling the truth. So why would you not do that? There's only one reason, guys. Howard Stern, Israel. Uh, Howard Stern always talked about the Hamptons. Howard Stern actually, numer I, I, it was probably 10 years ago at this point, but he actually, at the time, uh, it was the most expensive residential uh, home rental in, the, in, in history. He actually rented a house on Dune Road uh, for a million dollars for the summer, um, about 10 years ago. And um, I was actually there and met him and his wife uh, because we were doing some work on the roof, on the house. And uh, I got to tell you, Howard Stern's a great guy. Audit everywhere. I'm assuming you're from uh, Southampton, so... You know the house. It's a. It's actually a. Uh, oh, the name's escaping me. I know the name of the architect who designed it. Very famous. All right, guys. So does anybody else have any other questions for me here? Um, again, if anybody wants to contact me directly, amagansettpress at gmail dot com. Um, I will try my best to. Um, answer everybody and get back to you and answer your questions be a lot easier for me than trying to read these emails i'm, I'm sorry these uh chats going by a mile a minute here jay thank you say hello to texas for me we might see you soon josh's attorney has not contacted me hello michigan I will definitely keep you guys updated. Uh, why did I move to Colorado? I addressed that earlier in the stream. I'm gonna post this as a video when we're done so you guys can go back and uh, look through it again if anybody wants to uh, look at things that were discussed earlier on in the chat. I can't believe how long I've been on here. But I'm glad I did this because I'm still waiting to get into my appointment. Thank you, Leslie. Alan, it is clean air, clean, dry air. Um, I mentioned before that I restore old tools, vintage tools, and I'll tell you what, my axes and my tools love this dry air. Thank you, Upstate. Well, all right, guys, I just want to say I appreciate you all being here. Um, again, this is the first time I've ever live streamed. Maybe we'll do this every once in a while. And uh, I'll figure out, maybe I'll do it on my computer next time so I can, uh, you know, it gets, I'm, I'm 50 years old, guys, and my arm's not long enough to hold this phone far enough away from me to be able to read this stuff very well. But again, I really appreciate all you guys being here. I want to thank you. I hope I answered some questions for you. Again, if you have any specific questions, amagansettpress at gmail.com. Um, hit me up. I'll get back to you, and I'll try my best to uh, give you the answers you're looking for. But this whole Josh episode is, uh, you know, 
with time, everything will come out. We'll figure it out, guys, and we'll get to the bottom of it. And I hope that Josh finds it within himself to clear this up with you. And I'm a very forgiving person, by the way. If Josh comes out and just admits that there was anything felonious going on or anything that shouldn't have been happening and he fesses up to it, uh, like I said, I will be a supporter of that. And I will still support the guy. Everybody deserves a second chance. Everybody deserves a third chance. Um, but nobody deserves to be ripping us off, guys. Nobody deserves to be scamming the community. Um, you don't turn on your own community. And that's that's the issue. So for now, guys, um, I'm going to take off. I think I'm ready to get inside and get back to work um, at my quote-unquote real job. But keep your eyes on the channel, guys. we got some good stuff coming up soon. And um, we really, really appreciate all of you. I thank you very much for taking the time for being with us. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And we'll, uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys. I'm against it, Press. Out. See, I told you I don't know what I'm doing. Now if I can just figure out how to turn this off, we'll get it.